Hey there, variety viewers. What's going on? Welcome to this cornucopia filled with basic treasure hunts and super treasure hunts. I'm your host, Jay. And uh, it's been a while, but I'm here with another episode of Hot Wheels Hoarders. Uh, I got uh, a bunch of stuff to show you. So, uh, no treasure hunts, unfortunately. But uh, a bunch of stuff. I got some Johnny Lightnings and uh, some other stuff. A bunch of Hot Wheels. So, uh, let's get into it. I think we'll start off with the collection first. Probably should have had this all organized before I did the video. But I didn't. Alright, so this is a collection. I got one through six. Uh, there's no specific name for the collection. Which I was surprised. I thought there would be, but like the the vibe I'm getting is obviously rally car. You'll get the vibe too when I show you the cars. But yeah, no specific name, but just a bunch of rally cars and one through six. I got and you know when I see a full collection, I have to buy it. So I got it. But first we have a Ford Escort. A white Ford Escort. I guess I can get it closer. It won't focus though. Come on. But you can clearly see it's a Ford Escort. Rally car. That's number one. Number two. I like number two. It's a 2008 Lancer Evolution. Mitsubishi. Black and yellow tampo. Black rims. Nice looking car. I like it. I like it a lot. There we go. It's number two of six. Number three is Volkswagen. I, I this word is so weird. Volkswagen Sirocco GT twenty four. I don't know, I'm not really a big fan of this car, but I have it because it's part of the collection, so there we have it. I like the rims, they're pretty sweet. Number four, <clears throat> Mini Cooper Challenge. Yeah, oh, Mini Cooper S Challenge. Pretty sweet little Cooper. Number five, 2009 Ford Focus RS. I don't like when they do the different colored rims. You can see the different colored rims. I don't like that. Not a big fan of that. If they're going to do all the rims the same color, cool. And then this is the Subaru WRX STI. Apparently I need to learn how to speak. It's an alright little car. Little Subaru. It's alright. Up next, we got this interesting package thingy here that my mom actually found for me. Pretty sweet. From This is from back in 2003. So that's pretty old. And it's in really good condition. Now, I could open it because 
there's blister packs in there and those blister packs would help finish finish up my wall here i'm almost at the bottom probably another two rows it'll be done but i don't want to open it because it's in such good shape but yeah this uh Hot Wheels Guide, and it comes with three Hot Wheels. This thing's pretty sweet. There's the guide right there. I can't remember where my mom found this, but she found it, so that's pretty darn sweet. I can't see the names of the cars, so I can't tell you. This one, the top one's overboard. It says it right on the car. And I think this bottom one is a Camaro. <clears throat> Yeah, it's definitely a Camaro. And then... I actually can't tell you what the middle one is. Which sounds terrible for being a Wheels collector, but... I want to say Mercedes. But I'm not 100%. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah. The bottom one's definitely a Camaro or like a Firebird. I'm thinking in Camaro, the top one's called Overboard. The middle one, I'm not quite sure. But yeah, pretty sweet. Pretty sweet right there. I like that. Alright, uh, <clears throat> these next three, I actually just found them yesterday at the dollar store. Pretty sweet. I had to get this one because I don't have one, and now I do because I like it a lot. It's called, it's a Pagani Hyra. It doesn't have a year or anything, but I use this car sometimes on the racing games that I have, mostly the Crew 2. Great game. But, uh, yeah, the Pagani Hyra. Why won't this focus? But, yeah, Pagani Hyra. Sweet. Uh, next, uh, also had to have this because it's, Pretty gnarly. Uh, 64 Chevy Chevelle SS. It doesn't help that there's a glare. Yeah. My camera's not focusing and it's starting to bother me. This car is actually pretty damn sweet. Uh, I saw it and I was like, yeah. I think I have a gray one. I think it's somewhere up here. Maybe not. I think I do, but I don't know. It's like the same color as that gray truck. But anyways, it's a Fair Lady 2000. Nice red one. Nice bright red. Sorry about my camera. It's not... Oh, there we go. A little bit. But that is a sweet car. So I had to have it. Fair Lady 2000. And then this one. Another one that my mom found me. At like a antique marketplace. 2005 first editions 1963 Corvette Stingray. I think it's one of those tuners. Maybe, maybe not. Corvette Stingray. Of course, my camera's not gonna let you see the silver. There we go. 1963 Corvette Stingray. Silver. And then this next one that I'm going to show you. It's the last of the Hot Wheels that I got. And then I'll show you my Johnny Lightnings. But uh, this one, as you guys know, my favorite car is the 67 Camaro. I have a bunch of them up there. There's a couple over on my shelf over there. But yeah, 67 Camaro. SS. Canary Yellow. Black Racing Stripes. All-time favorite car. Now, being colorblind, I thought this was yellow, but then my mom's like, you know, that's not yellow. I was like, well, no, I thought it was. But it's orange. 
but it's still sweet. I still like it. It's uh, Fast and Furious 67 Chev Chevrolet Camaro. Real Riders, Metal on Metal. Hot Wheels collectors will know what that is. For those of you that don't collect Hot Wheels and don't know what Metal on Metal and Real Riders means, Real Riders means it has actual rubber tires and actual, like, rims. And Metal on Metal means metal chassis, metal body. So it's just heavier all around, better looking, just nicer car, way better, and more detailed. But yeah, Fast and the Furious 67 Chevrolet Camaro. Look at that. See what I mean? Like, look at those rims. Like, there's just... There's definitely more detail when they do the real riders. And that stripe on the front. Look at that. Hood opens. Had to have this car. I'm actually... I'm going to buy a second one if I can find one. So I can open it and have a loose one. Because I want to hold this car in my hand. Because it's epic. And I want to. So that's it for the Hot Wheels. So up next, I got some JLs. Some good old Johnny Lightnings. Um, a bunch of videos ago, I did. Uh, I showed some Johnny Lightnings. And I had some Coca-Cola ones. They're hanging up on my wall now. Um, my Johnny Lightnings collection is actually getting pretty big. So I had to move them to a different room. They're hanging on my bedroom wall now. But uh, I got a different Coca-Cola collection. This one's sweet, too, because the cars in the package, they come with uh, it's a metal tin about this big to put the, the car in, like a little carrying case, which I thought was pretty sweet. And it's a funny story. My mom, I think my mom, yeah, my mom had these. She was going to sell them, and I'm like, why don't I know about these? Why would you? Why would you sell them? Oh, sorry about that. My daughter and her friend just got home. Uh, but yeah. I was like, why would you uh, sell these, Mom? Like, why don't I know about these? You know I collect them. And she's like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't even think about it. And I'm like, oh, well, okay. Well, I'll buy them off you. So... I bought them off her, but uh, anyways, they're pretty sweet. This is a 1967 Corvette Coca-Cola collection with little tin carrying case. Friggin' sweet. I love it. I'd like to open it and put it in that carrying case just for, you know, that's what it's for, but I'm not going to open it. The only way I would open this is if I had an exact double of this, but I don't, so I'm not. Up next in the Coca-Cola collection, we have a Chrysler Atlantic concept car, which I'm going to be pretty honest, it's a ugly car, not a nice looking car, but uh, yeah, same idea, Coca-Cola, got the tin case and the car itself, I guess it's okay. See, on some of the Johnny Lightnings, they do the rubber tires too, but they're not as, they're not these, right? They're just not. But I do like Johnny Lightnings because they do have pretty good detail and their collections are pretty sweet. Uh, here I have a 1995 Acura NSX. Pretty cool. Nice car. Black and red tampo. Carrying case, same idea. Pretty sweet. And then the last two things I got to show you here are the, it's a, it's two Johnny Lightning poker sets. They come with a poker chip and playing cards. And the first one is a 1998 Dodge Viper RT10. 19, that's 1998, and they don't make the Viper anymore. I think the last Viper was like... It was late 2000s. Well, I know we're in late 2000s now, but I mean it was like... Maybe mid 2000s. No, I don't know. Somewhere in... Maybe like 2007, 10. I don't know. 
Anyways, this is a 1998 Dodge Viper. Uh, if, if anybody knows what year the Dodge Viper was canceled, put it in the comments below. Because I'm not sure. I know they canceled it. But I know there's like a, a later version of the Viper. But I don't remember. Maybe it was like 2012? I don't know. Someone tell me in the comments because I don't remember. But yeah, here's the 1998 Dodge Viper. But anyways, my point is that the Viper, I think the Viper came out in like 96, 95, 96, something like that. So, boy, I can't believe it's almost 2020. That's insane. And the last thing I have here for you is another Johnny Lightning Poker collection with a poker chip and two playing cards, which I didn't show you. Uh, this is a 2004 Cadillac Escalade. I think I have another Johnny Lightning Escalade, or unless it's just that Hot Wheels one that I'm thinking about. But, but yeah, here's the two playing cards and then the poker chip. I'm sure you saw them on the last one, but I didn't sh show you the, where they are. And, oh my goodness, I just, look at that. Look at that, that's not good. That bums me out. I'm going to have to glue that. But anyways, <clears throat> Cadillac Escalade 2004. Cards, poke chip, package falling apart in my hand during the video. Great, awesome. But yeah, there it is. 2004 Cadillac Escalade, Johnny Lightning's Poker Collection. Boom. 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 So that's it. Anyways, folks, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and tickle that like button for me. And uh, if you're new to Jay's Variety Show, go ahead and click that subscribe button and you'll be a variety viewer. And simple. And uh, I don't know, if you want to be notified when I drop a video, which hasn't been very much lately because I work a full-time job, but sometimes I try and find time to put into my YouTube channel. But uh, yeah. If you want to be notified when I drop a video, click that notification bell and we'll be all cool. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.